Welcome to part two. Right, so I've changed the solenoids underneath the airbox. Now I need to go underneath the car and remove the bash plates. So under the car, we've got bolt here, bolt over this side as well, and one there at the rear, and one there at the rear. Now what's happened in my case, I went four wheel driving, I hit a rock, you pushed this plastic bash plate up and broke the front wheel actuator. So let's get this bash plate off and have a look. All right, so the bash plates have been removed. That's the front wheel actuator right there. If you have a look across here, you can see some serious dents there. So I've obviously hit something. If you have a look up here and you see the bottom of this free wheel actuator, it's flat and it's not supposed to be. Um, also, what I found the first time around, see this sensor that looks brand new? That had oil leaking out of it. So I had to have that replaced as well. So now that that's been replaced, that's kind of step one for me. Okay. Step two is the solenoids. Now step three is to replace the front wheel actuator. Okay. Now the way I tested this actuator, besides the obvious flat bit here that should be round, I had all four wheels off the road. I had the car in neutral. I then had someone change from 4H to 2H and I looked for movement in this rod and nothing moved. Rotated the wheels manually, still nothing moved. If you pull on this little tab, you can get to the guts of it and in here is the bit that moves. So here we have the new actuator and here we have the old actuator and you'll notice that the new is nice and round and that the old it ain't so round. Also you'll notice though I didn't take all the hydraulic hose off I cut some off. While I was pulling it out I discovered that my hydraulic hose had split and cut and had a hole in it. So, not only have I damaged the hose, but I've damaged the actuator as well. To get the actuator off, um, I had to slide a little spring clip back and pull a pin out from the actual shaft itself. And that shaft is obviously the bit that's hidden in here. And there's a hole there for the pin to go through. Quite easy once you do it. Right, let's fit the new one. Okay, so the whole assembly does not line up with the bolts, so what I've done is jacked up the front right hand driver's wheel and inside I've moved from 2H to 4H, rotated the wheel slightly, the piston kicked in and moved across and now everything aligns. Okay, new unit is bolted in and I've got to put this rubber thing back, if I can reach it, there's the little spring clip with the piston thing in it, now we'll go back over there. I'll remove the jack and give it a test drive and put the bash plates back. <laughs> 